My Treasured Catholic Prayers Continued Page 41 Prayer to St. Therese the Little Flower St. Therese the Little Flower Please pick for me a rose from the heavenly garden of our divine Savior and send it to me as a message of love. Since you promised to spend your heaven doing good on earth, Please look favorably upon my petitions, speedily recommend them to the sacred heart of Jesus, and beg him to grant my requests. If this favor is granted to me, I will seek to imitate you more and more and to be ever more loving and charitable, especially towards God's little and least ones. St. Therese, pray for me and for all my loved ones. Amen. Prayer for special persons' needs. Prayer for priests. O oh, Jesus, I implore your divine assistance for your faithful and fervent priests for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields, for your lonely and desolate priests, for your young priests, and for your dying priests, for the souls of your priests in purgatory. But above all, I commend to you the priests dearest to me, the priest who baptized me, the priest who absolved me from my sins, the priests at whose masses I assisted and who gave me your body and blood in holy communion, the priests who taught and instructed me, all the priests to whom I am indebted in any other way. O oh, Jesus, keep them all close to your sacred heart and bless them abundantly in time and eternity. Amen. Offering of St. Ignatius Loyola Take, O oh Lord, and receive my entire liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my whole will, all that I am and all that I possess, you have given to me. I surrender it all to you to be disposed of according to your will. Give me only your love and your grace, and these I will be rich enough, with these I will be rich enough, and will desire nothing more. Amen. Prayer of St. Ignatius for Generosity Dear Lord, Teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to labor and not to seek for rest, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek reward, except to know that I am doing your holy will. Amen. A prayer for serenity. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can change, and the wisdom to know the difference. Prayer during difficult times. God of love and mercy, assist me in this time of trouble and anxiety. Ease my burdens, strengthen my faith, increase my trust and confidence in your compassionate care. Give me the courage I need, dear Lord, to face the difficulties before me, knowing that with your help, miracles happen and lives are restored. I pray for a share in your healing graces and ask that you surround me with your comforting goodness for health in mind and body and for a heart filled with hope and peace. Amen. Sweetest Jesus, we implore the grace to love you daily more and more. Amen. A prayer for students. God of light and truth, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, for all knowledge can lead me to you. Lead me to be aware of your presence in all things and at all times. Encourage me when my studies are difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Give me confidence when my brain seems slow to understand and the way forward is filled with struggles and challenges. Grant me the grace to fully express all the talents and gifts you have entrusted to me to explore the world you have created, 
certain that in your love and goodness all will be well in my life according to your divine plan. Amen. Prayer for my family. Gracious God, I pray now for my parents and for all those who have positively influenced my life, for the happiness of good memories and for the healing of sad memories, for the forgiveness of those who have wronged me, for peace of heart with those to whom I did not or could not say, I'm sorry, for all the deceased members of my family, that in your great mercy, Lord, you may forgive their sins and welcome them into eternal life. For my relatives, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and all who have assisted me throughout my life in appreciation for the joys we have shared. For my children and grandchildren and all other family members with whom I have experienced times both rewarding and challenging and with whom I have shared events both painful and enriching. For all those I know and love for whom I am presently anxious or concerned for their health and well-being, for their return to the sacraments. For those who are ill and in need of healing, for those who are out of school or unemployed, for those who are burdened with worries, fears, disappointments, or addictions. In your great mercy, Lord, hear my prayers and grant my petitions for peace of mind and heart for all in need of your blessings, compassion, and wisdom, and saving grace. Amen. Prayer of Parents God of all life, we thank you for the gift of the children you have entrusted to our care. Guide us to help them grow into compassionate and responsible adults, strong in their Catholic faith and confident in the goodness and abilities you have given them. Grant that they may be ever aware of your presence in their lives and your unconditional love for them. Fill them with your choicest blessings. Enrich their souls with your grace. Inspire them with your wisdom. Lead them to grow in virtue each day so that we may be always united with you and with each other in this life and in the next. Amen. Prayer for those who are alone. For those who live alone, dear Lord, stay by their side. In all their needs, be their constant guide. Grant them good health. For that I pray that they may be able to continue to work each and every day. Keep pure their minds, their thoughts and deeds. Help them be kind and to assist others in need. Save them from harm and hateful tongues, from pain and fear and evil ones. When they are sick in need of care, O Lord, I pray you will be near. When they feel down or in despair, Lift up their heart and hear their prayer. For those who live alone, dear Lord, yet have no fear because I know that you are near. Amen. May the sacred heart of Jesus be everywhere loved. Prayer in time of sickness. Dear Jesus, you suffered and died for us. Teach us to understand our suffering as you do. Help us to bear our suffering in union with you. Lead us to offer our suffering with yours in atonement for our sins so as to bring to grace, your grace to souls in need. Calm our fears and strengthen us in trust in you, loving Lord. May we come to accept your holy will and become more like you through the trials in our lives. If it be your will, restore us to health so that we may offer our efforts and energies for your honor and glory and for the good of all humanity. Amen. Prayer for personal healing. Loving God, I come to you in prayer, seeking the blessing of good health, that I may serve your divine Son more faithfully and love him with greater sincerity. I wish to be well and strong, that I may use the talents and gifts you have given me in your honor, in service to my family and for the good of others. Help me to bear patiently with illness and to grow always in your wisdom and grace. Amen. A prayer for the healing of loved ones. Almighty God, look with mercy and kindness on my loved ones who are sick. Mention their names now. Grant them good health. 
Send your holy angels to watch over them, protect them from danger, and keep them safe from lasting injury or harm. May the life-giving grace of your divine Son relieve their suffering and bring them to a full recovery. Embrace them with your constant love, with the power of Christ's healing presence, that your bountiful goodness may be their source of comfort, strength, and joy. Amen. Prayer for Safe Driving O God, be with me and my loved ones whenever we travel. Be our safety every mile of the way. Help us to be alert, attentive, cautious, and concerned about our fellow travelers. Make our highways safe and protect us from all danger. Guide us without trouble or injury to all our destinations, for you are the true source of our hope, our happiness, and our health. Amen.